hello dear students welcome to the next section so in module 2 we have three transistors to study the first one is fed the second one is mosfet so in this class we will study about the mosfet what is a mosfet mosfet is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor even mosfet is a transistor which is made out of metal oxide semiconductor so metal this transistor is made out of three elements metal oxide and semiconductor so let us see how does the physical structure of a mosfet looks like so in the physical structure so you will be having a metal layer oxide layer and a semiconducting layer so this was the earlier structure of metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor mosfet was used to be having a metal layer oxide layer and a semiconducting layer but nowadays as the electronics have been improved so this metal layer is now replaced by a semiconductor layer itself which we call it as polysilicon which we call it as polysilicon so the polysilicon is now replaces the metal in mosfet so the metal oxide semiconductor name remains as it is only thing is they have replaced the metal by semiconducting material which is called as polysilicon this metal oxide semiconductors are also called as insulated gate field effect transistors now what is this field effect transistor we will understand it later now this field effect transistors or MOSFETs are classified into two categories. They are classified into two categories. The first one is enhancement mode. The other one is depletion mode. So we have two categories. The first one is enhancement mode. The other one is depletion mode. In enhancement mode, this is a physical structure of enhancement mode transistor. This is the physical structure of depletion mode transistor. In enhancement mode transistor, I am taking the example of N channel. Here also I am taking the example of N channel MOSFET. So this N channel MOSFET has N and N. So first we have a P substrate. We have a P substrate. In that you have a source which is made out of N type semiconducting material and a drain made out of N type semiconducting material. So this is the gate layer which is as I said it is made out of polysilicon here also you have the same structure this is a gate made out of polysilicon so you have the oxide layer which is silicon dioxide so here also you have the oxide layer so this is the oxide layer in both but if you can see the difference the major difference here is so when you see the N and N here they are not joined but here you have N and N and a channel here so this channel is already formed in depletion mode whereas in enhancement mode there is no channel formation so in enhancement mode when you apply the voltage to gate the channel is formed whereas when you apply the voltage to gate in depletion mode the channel get breakdown so you don't have channel when you apply voltage in depletion here the formation of channel takes place when you have or when you apply the gate voltage this is the major difference between enhancement mode and depletion mode transistor so as we know again enhancement mode and depletion mode transistor in both the transistor type of the channel formation based on the type of the channel formation there are again sub 2 classification that is NMOS and PMOS. Here also you have NMOS and PMOS. Coming to the symbol, so how do we write or how do we represent NMOS, PMOS, enhancement mode, NMOS, PMOS, depletion mode transistors in the circuit diagram? So to know the symbols, so first thing, first I'll tell you what is enhancement mode NMOS. So you will be having a gate. So this is a gate. You have three different layers. So gate. So in between you have source and drain. This is source. The other one is drain. Based on the direction of electron flow, we decide what it is. 
so when i write it towards towards the gate when i write the electrons moving towards the gate then it is n channel or it is n mos enhancement mode transistor so why how it is enhancement mode because there is no connection between source and drain if i assume this is source and this is drain there is no connection here you have three individual lines here right so the same thing if i want to write n mos depletion mode transistor how do i write so this is the gate so there is a connection here to show that connection i write like this or i can use a thick line here or i can use a thick line both are accepted so this is source this is drain and you have this ter terminal which is substrate again the direction remains same because this is nmos this is nmos you have joint line which shows which indicates it is depletion mode so source and drain are separated indicating it is enhancement mode if i want to write pmos so this is gate this is gate if i want to write pmos the simple thing so change the arrow keep it as it is so this is your gate source drain terminal this is a substrate terminal so the fourth terminal here is substrate terminal so this is the substrate so let us see this let us see what is the substrate and how it should be biased in the later classes now the direction is away from the gate that is electrons are moving away from the gate so here also we follow the same thing so you have gate and electrons are flowing away from that so you either you can write a thin line or you can also show a thick line so this thick line shows the channel so it shows the channel or you can also call it as an implant so this is about the basic structure of mosfet so next is the construction of n channel enhancement mode field effect transistor so coming to the construction coming to the construction so basically we take a layer of p substrate p substrate or as i told you in the earlier classes these transistors are made out of semiconductors so these semiconductors there are different semiconductors among them the majorly used are silicon germanium and gallium arsenide so we dope silicon i'll take silicon semiconductor it is added with trivalent impurity to form trivalent impurity to form p sub p type semiconductor so if i take silicon added with pentavalent impurity it becomes n type semiconducting material so now i take a silicon semiconducting material add it with trivalent impurity to make it as a p type semiconducting material so in this p type semiconducting material i call this base layer as substrate substrate is the base layer for our device now for the very first what we'll do is so it is now doped what is the meaning of doping to so adding impurities now we add again the impurities which belong to pentavalent which is pentavalent so we add only in certain regions say i need the formation of source and drain in this region so i add these pentavalent impurities only to this region so it becomes n type semiconducting material so it becomes n type semiconducting material over this n type semiconducting material i'll place a layer of silicon dioxide this is a layer of silicon dioxide so which is called as or which is actually the oxide layer so this is the oxide layer so above this oxide layer we will apply a layer of a big layer or a thick layer of polysilicon material we apply 
a thick layer of polysilicon material which is called as gate. Now this is the gate formation. So this gate is again connected with metal to form a gate lead. So you, if I consider both are similar, so I can either take any one of them as source and the other one as drain. So this is source and let me assume this is drain. So you have N type semiconducting material and N type semiconducting material or you can call it as N well and N well. Formation of N well within the P substrate to form N MOS FET. N MOS FET. So this is the construction or simple construction of N MOS FET.